Covert from WSIL. This is News 3 at 6. Good evening, I'm Mark Kiesling. And I'm Victoria Idoni. It's been a tough week for parents, students, and staff in Carterville. They're dealing with the aftermath of a suspected case of COVID-19 at the high school. We were invited to take a closer look at safety procedures inside Carterville Intermediate School. News 3's Maya Skinner spoke to the principal. After a successful first week of blended learning, Carterville Intermediate School Principal Thomas Webb says he feels confident in the school's safety measures. I use the analogy of a three-legged stool, whether we have school, parents, and then the student. We need all three legs for the stool to stand. Webb says communication is key to keeping the school safe. He says any cases of COVID-19 will come to him and the school nurse. Once we have that information, we'll transfer that to our district nurse that is housed at Carville High School, where she is keeping track of all students that have been in either close contact, is awaiting testing due to symptoms, or has tested positive. Students suspected to have COVID-19 will be removed from class immediately. If a student came in and they were temperature screened over 100.4, we could isolate them um, and then they could go to the nurse and await further uh, assessment. Webb says the school has worked hard to prevent any spread of COVID-19 with two deep cleanings and requiring PPE for students. Fourth grade teacher Courtney May says it will take some time to adjust to the new changes. It's small things that you notice, um, like sharpening pencils and uh, different community areas that come out throughout the school year. So we've, we've definitely had to adapt uh, on the fly with some small things. Webb says despite this school year's new normal, he believes this school year will go well. We've really worked through a lot of different problems and struggles, and our number one goal is student learning. In Carterville, Maya Skinner, News 3. The Trump administration has formally designated teachers as essential workers in an effort to encourage schools to reopen. 